What ties together everything that we do at the Lawyers Committee is taking the ideal of equality and making it a reality for every individual. I realized that I wasn't the only one in this district, definitely not in the city, being treated unfairly. Thanks to the LCCR, I learned that there's stuff you can do about it. We showed Cedric, this is how you stand up against what's not okay. The students that were affected in it, the ones that came with the firm, all got $10,000 for education purposes. To stand up against injustice is really empowering. I really want to help out other kids that are like me. Being the change maker, that feels pretty cool. With a policy that allows the city to tow when a person receives five parking tickets, that means that people's cars get towed with regularity. In fact, the city of San Francisco tows about 4,000 cars a year just for unpaid parking tickets alone. Uh, for Mr. Coyote, he had parking tickets that he couldn't pay. He used his vehicle uh, as a driver for Uber and different companies, and so without his car, he was effectively unemployed. We are litigating that case and won a return of his car through a preliminary injunction. And so we are hopeful that that is a first step, not just to returning his car, but also to establishing that no car should be towed for this reason. It's surprisingly easy for a person in San Francisco to find themselves in a situation just as this. Well, for so many of our clients, uh, one thing that I've heard is that they would not have been able to afford an attorney or to pursue their claims on their own. And so being able to step in and to provide a path where you know, someone can challenge the system um, is really meaningful and I've heard that from a lot of clients that they appreciate having someone in their corner. There was one incident where there was a homeless veteran and he had gone to get lunch and didn't know that the Caltrans crew were coming. There was no notice. He had his walker at his campsite and um, Caltrans crews picked it up and put it in directly into the trash compactor. One of our clients um, hasn't been able to visit with her children in many years. All she had of them were um, two pictures. Those pictures were uh, taken in one of the sweeps by Caltrans and thrown in a trash compactor. And she has no sort of way of seeing their face again or being in contact. And the blatant disregard for the human need in that situation is at the heart of this case. If we allow others to violate the constitutional rights of our most vulnerable members of society with impunity, I think that we negate the power of the Constitution for us all. There's a growing national movement of advocates who are fighting the criminalization of poverty. And the Lawyers Committee's been at the forefront of that movement. I'm so humbled by the clients who I've met working on the Doe case, who despite being held in windowless rooms, deprived of food, injured and unable to get medical treatment, um, have the courage to demand their own rights, um, to demand for themselves that Border Patrol pay attention to their condition. And at the end of the day, we are going to impact 350,000 people's lives. Like our class just keeps growing and growing and growing, and that's amazing. We are taking on 
the Department of Homeland Security. We are taking on an entire system that has been developed to intimidate and coerce and dehumanize immigrants who cross our borders. We could not do that without MOFO. We think of it as a, you know, it's our duty, right? We have this power, we have this privilege, we should be using it to help people. We will take all the tools we have, every court, every legislature, every person in power we can influence, and we will wield it to change our future, to create more equality and more justice for all the people that we care about. One of my greatest joys of being part of the Lawyers Committee is being part of this rich and vibrant community of lawyers, of community partners, of our clients and their families. And I invite everyone to join us and become part of this Lawyers Committee family.